Good evening, parents. Welcome to Back to School Night at Damien Memorial. We will begin in a similar fashion to, as to how we begin every morning as a community. Please join me in prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Today is Thursday of the 23rd week in Ordinary Time and the Memorial of St. Peter Claver Priest. Together we pray with the entire Universal Church O God, who made St. Peter Claver a slave of slaves and strengthened him with the wonder, charity, and patience as he came to their help, grant through his intercession that seeking the things of Jesus Christ, we may love our neighbor in deeds and in truth, pour out your grace and blessings upon our Damien Memorial parents, their families, our administration, faculty and staff, Bless us, protect us, and guide us through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And now let's recite the Founder's Prayer. O oh God, we thank you for the life of blessed Edmund Rice. Moved by your Spirit, he opened his heart to Christ, President, those oppressed by poverty, ignorance, and injustice. He afforded them an opportunity for a Christian education and engaged on their behalf in other works of compassion. May we follow his example of faith and generosity in our lives as we seek to live lives of love and service. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Saints Damien and Mary Ann, pray for us. Blessed Edmund Rice, pray for us. Live Jesus in our hearts forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. At this time, I'm going to hand it over to our uh, Dr. Kyle Adebe, our Damien Memorial Head of School. Thank you, Mr. McGivern. Aloha and welcome, parents and families. Welcome to the Fall 2021 Virtual Back to School Night. We are so excited to be back here on campus this school year. And even just after a month, it certainly has been an interesting year, uh, considering that we are in a pandemic. And we certainly give you many, many thanks for all of your cooperation, patience, as well as your support uh, to the decisions that we've made in moving forward through this pandemic. Uh, as always, your child's health and safety is of utmost importance to us. Also, also important to us is your child's education. And that's exactly what tonight is about. If you've not yet had the opportunity to correspond or speak with your child's teacher, please, I hope that this evening will help you understand the ease that you have in doing so, because we do understand that your role in your child's uh, educational experience this year is going to play a very large part in their success. Uh, so once again, thank you for making the time for joining us. I leave it to the rest of our faculty and staff to continue on uh, with this evening. And I'm going to pass the time on now to our Dean of Academics, Mrs. Gail Venata. Thank you. Aloha and welcome to our back to school day. We are pleased that you have made Damien Memorial the school of choice for your child. We have been preparing for your child's return to campus and face-to-face -face learning. Preparations have included not only deep cleaning of the campus and classrooms, but also teacher development for face-to-face -face teaching and learning. At the end of May, our teachers participated in professional development on 21st century learning and instructional strategies. We also recognize that each child would return to campus in the fall 
with various mindsets from their experiences with the pandemic. Research has informed us that after minimal or no campus learning, on-campus learning, some students would find the return challenging. The sounds of a school, the numbers of bodies, the routines of a school, these sensory stimuli absent for nearly 18 months for some would be an adjustment. On orientation day, a returning student voiced to me, wow, there's so many people. One student admitted that she was nervous about returning. Yes, it is a transition back to school with many body sounds and routines. At Damien Memorial, we focus on educating the whole child. Our teachers are ready to engage your child academically and also nurture the social emotional aspect of your child's overall well being. We also have been focusing on students' social emotional well being through advisory instruction. Topics of advisory have included community building activities, as well as mental health issues and COVID safety. We know that students cannot learn unless they feel safe, valued, and are accepted as unique individuals. Students also need a classroom community in which they can comfortably push themselves academically and even fail, fail forward. Academic growth requires a stretching of intellectual muscle and involves failure. The early educational reformer John Dewey said, failure is instructive. The person who really thinks learns quite as much from his failures as from his successes. We want our students to have a growth mindset and to keep continually learning. Our teachers are prepared to engage your child in a rigorous academic program, as well as nurturing the whole child and creating a safe learning environment in which students can feel comfortable to push themselves academically and feel safe and respected in the classroom environment. We thank you for the opportunity to work with your child to prepare them for the challenges of the future. I'm sure you'll enjoy meeting your child's teachers and learning more about our academic program. Mahalo for joining us. It is now my pleasure to call upon our Dean of Student Life, Nicole Paishan, to continue our program's welcome. Thank you, Mrs. Venata. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our virtual back to school night. I am the Dean of Students and member of our COVID response team. It has been wonderful seeing our students back on campus and building the community that we as monarchs are so proud of. In these challenging times, Damien Memorial School remains committed to the health and safety of all of our students, faculty, staff, and families. The updated Department of Health guidance for schools is based on the best available evidence at this time, and we will continue to align our measures with the guidance from the Hawaii Department of Health and Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Students, faculty, staff, and all visitors to campus are expected to wear a face mask at all times. Desk shields are utilized on all tables inside classrooms and the cafeteria, and enhanced cleaning and disinfecting is done daily. We have added a third lunch period to minimize the number of students per lunch and have provided more outdoor seating to our lawn areas. In the event that someone in your household or your Davian Memorial student begins to exhibit symptoms of COVID-19, please contact HEALTH at damien.edu immediately. A COVID response team member will then follow up with you to determine next steps. We ask you, if your child is feeling ill, please keep them home. Email health at damien.edu and have them join class via Blackboard Collaborate, which you will experience tonight. If your child is on campus and begins to feel ill, they will be isolated and sent home immediately. In the event you receive an email notification that your child was a close contact of a COVID positive student, you will receive a detailed email of procedures that must be followed in order to return to campus. We ask that you please respond to this email to ensure delivery of the message. Our students have done a great job in following our COVID-19 protocols, and we remind all of you to continue to do your part, social distance, avoid large gatherings, wash your hands frequently, and mask up. We ask for your continued cooperation in working with us to ensure the safety of our entire Damien Memorial community. 
so that we may have a successful, healthy, and safe academic year. Thank you for joining us this evening. At this time, I'll turn the screen over to Brother Christopher Hall, our Assistant Head of School. He will share with you how this evening's Back to School Night will run. Have a great evening, take care, and stay safe. Brother Hall, all yours.